Bonjour, bonjour, welcome back to my channel. I'm the MC, I'm an artist based in Atlanta. If you'd like to check some of my artwork, I'm gonna put that below the link on my social media and my portfolio. I hope everybody's doing great today. It's been a minute for me. <laughs> um, honestly, today I wanna talk about something that I think we all kind of are talking between us, which is what's going on with the meta. So currently, as you guys know, um, I didn't went to nationals, but I was able to see what was happening on nationals, um, on you know social media and all that. Um, I want to share with you guys my thoughts. Also, you guys are more than welcome to comment down below if you agree or disagree. Or what do you guys think about this current meta? Let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this comment or this message. I asked my friend if I was able to share this message with them so they send that um they're gonna be asking well since i'm a tattoo artist they were gonna get more into asking about the design of a mewtwo as a tattoo and then they come in um, i mean they send a message saying should i have i should have like should have more free time soon since i'm talk taking a break from Yu-Gi-Oh. and then i was like omg i'm planning on taking a break like too, the meta is too crazy like i'm not saying taking a break like um not doing any more Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm planning on not going to events unless i mean i'm going to event but we'll be just to look at i'm not going to be playing and then he said Met meta isn't fun to play at all right now it's hella paywall and to be honest i don't think konami will put out an affected ban list only thing that could fix this game at this point is a new master rule so I am not going to be talking about the ban list because I think we have been very like disappointed from the previous ban list. We were expecting Konami to do something. Um, if before Fiend Smith, I mean Fiend Smith, if before um, Snake Eye was unstoppable, this is just crazy out there. This is just, this is beyond. Um, Snake Eye is currently just unstoppable um feastments added more to the fire as we know but i know that they mentioned that on august ending of august they're planning on doing the ban list because they wanted to see how well we were gonna perform or more like have fun on building with this new kind of set and i believe it's just wild to see how much this deck is on every like levels even if you go to um if you go to compete competing everybody's using this deck everybody's using this deck and it's just an otk instantly it's just a one court one card combo so i'm gonna show you guys this draft real quick so currently on the ycq <gasps> from berlin um the deck that was used the most Fiend Smith and Snake Eye, forty nine percent, forty nine percent. You forty nine percent is almost half, like almost half of this whole event. People were playing this deck. Tempai Dragon, which obviously I can't see. Tempai has gone just crazy as well, as you guys can see, fourteen percent. And then we have Fiend Smith, Ubel. Yes, definitely, I can see Fiend Smith, um, B and Ubel being one of the decks, but it's twelve percent. And then we have Right <laughs> Ritual, <laughs> Ritual Beast, which is six percent. Runic, six percent. Momentum, three percent. And then others like a ten percent. When I say others, it's probably branded. Anything else that is not Fiend Smith, Snake Eye, and Fiend Smith, you bell, or anything that is not temp by dragon. So at this point, we all knew. We all knew that Snake Eye and Fiend Smith were gonna be like crazy, but I didn't know it was gonna be just like it. it so it, this was a very interesting coming. I heard somebody saying it's like going to play and everybody playing on like for example going to uh, playing uh Dragon Ball Fighter Z and everybody playing Goku you know every, everybody using the character of goku and it's just not fun because 
it depends on how you play it, obviously, but everybody is like, everybody's using the same freaking deck. So, is this gonna say that, are we having passabilities to like top? Definitely not. I what, what am I talking about? You guys know already my story about how I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a duelist, top duelist, but I definitely have fun. So, this is what I was talking about my deck. So, Brendan, as you guys know, is Brendan Horus or Brendan Despia, which I love my Brendan Despia. I also love my Brendan, um, which was the Dark Lord. So, Brendan Dark Lord is for fun because Dark Lord. Um, Brendan Despia is just a little more man, competitive, you know? And then uh, Horus is just a package that helped me kind of, if I'm like breaking, it brings something else to the table. So, um, but it's just my personal opinion. It's fun because you can just do different sides combo depending of how you, well you create your board. You'll just win or it's fun. But Fiendsman, Snake Eye, you're not letting your opponent play at this point. I feel like everybody's going against Fiendsmith and Snake Eye. And it was 49% crazy 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 so currently what i think i think i changed a little of my perspective on the like Yu-Gi-Oh meta top tier or tier um list i believe that obviously snake eye and fiend smith are top like they are you know the the very first of the food chain and then we have tenpai definitely i can see tenpai and Fiend Smith. I, I didn't so I know I was I was debating on which one was gonna be I think I said you bell to be on top like uh bef like to be Fiend Smith Snake Eye and then Fiend Smith you bell but actually Tenpai Dragon is 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 very out there so it's uh Fiend Smith I mean uh Fiend Smith Snake Eye and Tenpai Dragon and then um Smith Smith uh Fiend Smith you bell um, along with, I, I think if you play really good branded, but you have to mix it. So apparently for branded, you keep have to update your deck. Like everybody is using different kind of, um, they were not using certain card from the branded, but then because of how the meta is going, they're, they're like switching cards from the branded. So I definitely can see branded being out there. I'm still not sure to put it on the like, uh, second best I will say probably third best but you got you guys can just because here as, as you guys can see the breakdown shows there's no um, no uh, branded so I will definitely say like third tier like that um, and then uh, it, like can't compete there you go can't compete um, it can kind of can't compete um the ones that are like next best definitely runic i say runic and the beast the right the ritual ritual beast ritual <laughs> uh those are the ones that definitely are second as you guys can see momentum to be second um unfortunately for drytrons i don't think it helped as much meta is too crazy draw can destroy unfortunately Tritron. So even if they brought new kind of um, new kind of stuff for the branded, I mean uh, for the for the Drytrons, it didn't do as much to compete on this meta because it's too strong. Even if they have like support, but as you guys know, unfortunately Drytrons, if it's stroll, is the end. They cannot keep drawing and that's what um dry trons are based at it that's where their forte but anyways um besides that i think oh my god i think the the voiceless voice is at the same like the same level as dry tron i think they are like just to like play at home <laughs> um kind of like have fun because again this is insane. Fiends, uh, Fiend Smith and Snake Eye be top, voiceless at the same time. They get stopped. So I, if you guys believe I'm wrong, just comment down below. What do you guys think? If this chart of like 
Fiend Smith, Snake Eye, Tempai, Dragon, and then my kind of top tier thinking that um, the ones are like kind of stay at home or kind of like for fun, voiceless, and Drytron should be there. Um, I will say Fonderies, uh, to t still, uh, I'm, I think is like take some good points. They're like okay, you know, it's like a fourth tier, like below, um, below branded, but that's my perspective at this point is like it's so sad that i okay side note i think is the first time i hear so many people um saying that they will not they don't like this meta it's just um so many people like it, it's i know we have heard it before but this is how crazy it is i've seen so many people now lately actually dropping on going to like um events like they're not going to events anymore they're just gonna be playing local that's what i'm planning on doing i want to have fun so i'm still gonna be playing local i'm gonna show you guys um my cards and playing master duel i'll i want to play master duel with you guys as well but like competing i think it's just out uh, too crazy so it's the first time i see a lot of people saying actually this is too crazy this meta i'm not playing anymore and we are hoping that the ban list is going to do something so that's currently the the point where we're at now for the ban list hmm. i think konami is not going to do anything i i don't think i don't think konami is gonna ban anything with snake eye fiend smith is new as you guys know and snake eye if they did, if they haven't banned or they haven't restricted something from Snake Eye before, they're not gonna do it now. So and even if they see that almost 50%, let's be honest, 49%, 50% of the decks or duelist on the YCQ from Berlin were using Fiendsman and Snake Eye, they're not gonna do anything because that's how it is, unfortunately. But I do gonna make a video of my perspective about the ban list prediction. I don't think I have done before August. I mean, I didn't do it in the ban list of August because Konami recently they announced about the ban list. So I do want to bring that up and kind of like we, you guys can put comment down below. What do you guys think of um, the? ban list is gonna be kind of the prediction we can all gather up together i'm still trying to figure it out if they're gonna do anything which i don't think so let's be honest let's be honest it's gonna be a weird it's gonna be a weird ban list but as soon as the ban list comes out if i'm at work i'm still gonna be doing the same thing i did last time if the ban list is out and i'm at work i'm gonna do a live stream and then i'll do a video that we can just like you know so stick to it like keep an eye on it because I know they announced that it's going to be at the end of August, I believe, so, yes. So, how the meta is? Bad. Currently, is bad. Fiendsman and Snake Eye are taking over, and if you're not playing these deck, you're not going to top. <laughs> if you're not playing Fiendsman, Snake Eye, or kind of Tempai Dragon, or, not, let's be honest, Fiendsman, Snake Eye. If you're not playing these decks, you're not going to top, so... That's how it is, unfortunately. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, this was a video of me ranting about what's going on, just watching about what what happened on the YCQ on Berlin, what 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 is currently happening on the meta, and what I'm hearing behind noises. I mean, hearing behind uh, kind of like comments and stuff. People are just saying this meta is too crazy. And let me know what do you guys think. Is the meta too crazy? What do you guys think? And are you playing Fee Smith Snake Eye? Do you like the deck? What's the, you know, what's the, how do you feel that everybody's playing your deck, you know? Anyways, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Au revoir, à la prochaine.